Hi, my wonderful Virgos. I hope all is well. This is your next 72 hour psychic predictions. If I say anything that does not resonate with anyone, please take that as a message for someone else, okay? Because I am reading multiple people, all right? And please don't forget to hit the like button, hit subscribe, share the video. It helps the channel. Okay, my wonderful Virgos. Let's see what's up with us Virgos. I'm a Virgo son, by the way. Let's see. Oh, okay. For my... Why am I getting the Grim Reaper? I promise you guys I'm getting the Grim Reaper. Um, don't be scared, though. Um, there's like some type of death um, of some sort. Um, something coming to an end. Y'all have death in your energy, but not death like, oh, someone's about to die. There's like an ending... Um, something's about to end here, um, but it's a good thing. It's a good thing. I'm just, they're giving me the thing with the Grim Reaper. Okay, let's see. What is going on with Virgo? Sun, moon, rising, Virgo. With Virgo. We have the Elder of Pentacles here. Clarified by the Three of Swords. Okay, I'll explain these in just a second. What's in Virgo's thoughts, feelings, and actions? Thoughts, feelings, and actions. We have the Knight of Swords. It's in reverse. Clarified by the Six of Wands here. What is Virgo's obstacle? What is their obstacle? We have the Fool right here. Clarified by the Chariots. And then what is their blessing? What is Virgo's blessing? It's Virgo's blessing. We have the three of wands here. You guys are going to be expanding. Okay. The six of um, swords. Okay. I hope you guys can see this. Okay, Virgo. As I look at your cards, excuse me if I sound a little like off. I'm recovering from a cold and my nose is starting to run again and it's driving me crazy. But... Anyway, for your overall situation, you have the Elder of Pentacles and the Three of Swords here. So what I'm getting right here for you, Virgo, is that you guys in the next 72, you guys have been, um, you guys have been using your practical abilities very wisely to manifest good things because that's what this card's about. Um, you, you using what you have practically to manifest good things in return you are basically reversing this three of swords energy at the bottom because you guys were in like a three of swords energy in the past um just feeling hurt um things not working out that's not you in the next 72 you are being very practical and you're manifesting a lot of good things now i do see right here in your thoughts um, in actions, you have the Knight of Swords in reverse, and you have the Six of Wands right here. So I feel like you guys are really, okay, and I'm seeing V for Vendetta. Um, you know that V for Vendetta, that mask? I feel like you guys are basically focusing on recovering from, you know, people who have been very cruel to you, um, maybe slept on you, been just rude, cruel, because I feel like you guys really dealt with someone who was, are people who are just cruel um, and very inconsiderate with that Knight of Swords energy. I feel like you're getting victory, like you're focusing on achieving victory from that circumstance with the Six of Wands here. Um, and that's what you're focusing on and that's what you are actually achieving, all right? You are achieving that and I think you see that. I don't feel like with this Knight of Swords energy and the Six of Wands, um, I don't feel like it's this, oh, I want to, um, like that Kill Bill energy. I want to go ahead and get revenge. I'm not getting like a revenge vibe. I just, I'm getting this, hey, people were, you know, cruel to me, inconsiderate, but I'm going to, I'm going to focus on my victory, okay? I'm going to put myself out there. I'm going to be victorious over this from my past circumstances. That's what I get um, what's in your thoughts, Virgo, um, and in your actions are showing that, 
as well. Now I see with your obstacle, you have the fool in the chariot. So this is basically telling me that your obstacle is continuing to move forward with this um, new venture, taking a leap of faith, believing in yourself and moving forward with this victory. Um, it may be a bit of an obstacle with you at times. Um, Spirit is showing me the um, emperor card because there's something to do with a possible lack of discipline sometimes for a go or something to do with a father because they're showing me the emperor in my third eye. But whatever the situation is, I feel like you guys get over this obstacle right here and you do move towards success because your blessing right here is the three of swords with the six of swords. Well, I'm sorry, the three of wands, not the three of swords. You have the three of wands and the six of swords. So this is telling me that you are giving the gift in the next 72 to week ahead to expand. You're being... The, you're getting the gift to expand um, from your past situation. The Six of Swords is basically about moving to calmer waters. You guys are expanding and moving into calmer waters within the next 72 hours. I'm also getting something about um, escaping trouble as well. Um, some of you are going to be expecting some type of fire symbolizes like trouble, a warning for me. Um, you guys are going to be being able to escape that. Um, that's what I'm getting for you, Virgo. Now, let's see what else is going to be happening for my Virgo, sun, moon, and rising. Let's see, what are, what are some other things that are happening for my Virgos? We have get a massage. So, some of you are going to be getting a massage or thinking about getting a massage. Um, it says you, you deserve to be pampered. Make your appointment this week. Um, excuse me, I'm hiccuping now. <laughs> Some of you might be having like hiccups or something. Um, but I feel like you guys are going to be trying to get some rest and pampering yourself. Also, I'm also seeing making new friends. Some of you are going to be making new friends, um, new friend, new connections, new friends. I'm also getting something about your children making new friends as well. If you're a mom, um, something about them making new friends outside. I don't know why I'm getting that, but I'm getting that as well. My kids were doing that yesterday, and for some reason, I'm getting that in this energy as well for you, Virgo. Let's see what else. And we have love your single life. So it says your singleness is an opportunity to spend quality time with yourself. So I feel like you guys are going to be enjoying your single life. Now, this doesn't literally mean that you're single. This just means that, hey, I, I'm enjoying just time with myself, with just being in my own skin. I'm enjoying me. And I feel like you guys are just enjoying yourself. You could be literally single and you're just enjoying dating and being to yourself as well. Now, last but not least, my Virgos, we're going to close the reading with some channeled messages and we will be done. Here we go. I'm trying to mix it up so we don't get the same ones. Oops, one flew out. Another one flew out. Okay, we're done. So October, I feel like something about October is significant. Next October, October. For someone here that's watching the video, it's also stop beating yourself up. Some of you need to stop beating yourself up about something that happened in October. I'm getting intuitively. For others of you, it's just saying in general, stop beating yourself up about something that has occurred. Okay. It says reconsider reconsider another possibility and it's funny because i'm having a hard time reading this and i wrote this <laughs> my eyesight man okay so it says reconsider another possibility for some of you virgos and then it says stay quiet about it for now so you guys are getting some type of idea um some type of information may have been passed to you but there's a need for you to stay quiet about it for now all right virgo all right, if you like this reading, hit the thumbs up, hit subscribe if you really like it, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.